Welcome to Android penetration testing series. In this series, I will be covering some logical aspect of Android architecture and practical implementation of Android penetration testing. Little brief about myself. Uh, I am Rajan Agori and I am CCIO certified from National Security Database and I am an active member of SRT and OOPS community. I hold bachelor's degree in computer science engineering and uh, if you want to reach me out, you can directly ping me on LinkedIn. I'm providing my link over there. Okay, so in this course, I will be covering some important resources of mobile penetration testing, uh, web application penetration testing and mobile penetration testing processes and comparison of the web and mobile PT. And lastly, I will be covering some Android penetration testing walkthrough uh, with the complete lab setup. Okay, so for lab setup, I will be cover some Android security architecture, some basic Android security and lab environment setup on Kali Linux with mostly used and famous tool like JD, AX, GUI, APK tool, MobSF and many more. Okay, so uh, for mobile application parameters and testing, there are two type of uh, testing will be done. Uh, uh, the first one is static analysis and the second one is dynamic analysis. So for first uh, static analysis uh, of any of the APK, I will be covering an example of vulnerable application which is available uh, open source uh, which include understanding of Android manifest file, uh, what are the activities, what are the content providers, uh, what are the firebase, storage buckets and a uh, little bit of automation framework tools used like MobSF. And if we if we go with the dynamic analysis part, uh, for dynamic analysis of APK, I will be cover some introduction of SSL pinning, uh, bypassing techniques with the burp suit, uh, introduction to Frida and objection followed by working of uh, Frida, working of objection and uh, most importantly reverse engineering of any APK and rebuild that APK to, uh, to remove the uh, main functionality of that APK from the production itself. And uh, apart from that, little part of uh, dumping memories and sensitive data and lastly but not least uh, runtime analysis of local storage of an application which is running in the mobile devices so uh, so see you on the next chapter of this series bye bye